Welcome to in 5 minutes. Now we will write output of this program which consists of arrays and pointers mixed together. Here we have A array of size 4. You can see the size is not mentioned. When the size of the array is not mentioned and if the values are given to array then size of the array is equal to number of variables given to the array. That is number of values assigned to the array. In this case is, there are 4 values so size of the array will be 4 integers. And then there are two pointers P and Q which are integer pointers. They are not initialized, they are just garbage values. So as the program will start working, there will be array defined with values 4, 10, 3 and 7. Then there are two pointers defined P and Q. I have drawn them as a ovals. Currently P and Q have no values. Now we know that when you define an array, every array is basically a pointer so here even a is also a pointer that will hold address of the array now suppose the address of the array is 1000 so first byte at 1000 then second integer at 1002 third at 1004 then at 1006 and a will hold the base address that is beginning address of the array now p equal to address of a0 let's start the statements p equal to and a0 so address of a0 variable stored into p so p will get 1000 so it refers to a0 then q equal to and a2 q holds address of a2 that is this integer so it will be 1004 and q refers to this whenever there is a problem of pointers arrays mixed together draw the figure neatly in the rough obviously rough part of your answer sheet or in your book and write the pointer values or address values and with those reference to those values try and solve the problem that will be easy way to get the answer otherwise you can make some confusions and get the wrong answers so now next line is star p is equal to so you're storing something at 1000 so you're modifying this value is equal to what it is a0 obviously it is 4 so it's 4 plus star p again what is at p it is a0 only so it will be 4 plus star q what is stored at q that is what is stored at 1004 it is 3 that is nothing but a2 so these values will be added and stored at p so that 4 will change that is a0 will change and it will be 4 plus 4 plus 3 that is 11 so this value a0 changes to 11 then you are printing printf a0 star p star q i will be writing the output over here in the exam also write the output separately and do the rough work in your rough part of the answer sheet Okay, so print A0 will print me 11, then comma, since comma is there in the print tips, then star P, that is value, what is value at 1000, obviously again it is A0, that is 11, and star Q, that is what is at 1004, that is at A2, that is 3. Then A1 plus equal to star P plus star P plus 2, P is 1000, so firstly what that line will be, it will be A1 is equal to A1 plus star p plus star p plus 2 firstly a1 is 10 star p value at 1000 is 11 and plus value at 1000 plus 2 now since it's an integer pointer plus 2 stands for plus 4 so it will be value at 1004 that is nothing but 3 so these values will be added and stored into a1 so a1 is going to change it will be 21 plus 3 24 so a1 will get value 24 then after that there is one more statement that is a2 plus plus a2 is this a2 will change to 4 then you are printing what is a1 what is a1 is obviously 24 so next output will be 24 comma star q q is 1004 so value at 1004 is now 4 so they can ask you some mixed question of arrays and pointers just Use the basic syntax of pointers, basic syntax of arrays and the basic operations of pointers that we studied in a pointers topic and you can solve the problem. But while solving the problem, just draw the arrays, pointers neatly and solve it. Thank you.